Okay, before we start today's video, Grant and I have a very exciting announcement. We've been working on this for months and months and haven't told anybody. And we decided that today would be the perfect day to let everyone know this is a probably one of our most asked questions. Above how does a pivot work, above who do you work with, where do you farm, above how many acres do you farm, above all those questions. Questions we get asked the most, is where can I buy a Laura Farm shirt? People email me, people direct message me, people reply under videos, all those kinds of things. And the wait is finally over. You can now purchase Laura Farms merchandise. It's a shirt just like this. One looks like this, one looks like this. There's a couple other designs. You can get them in black or you can get them in brown. There is a website that you can shop them at or all you have to do is click on the little picture right underneath this video and that will take you right to the website to buy these shirts. They are great quality. Grant and I have been testing them out for a while now. Mm -hmm. I wore it all day. Great to work in, very durable, very comfortable, lightweight, breathable material. Uh, the graphic, um, it's not very thick and so you're not going to like sweat in this specific area, but it is also not going to come off in the washer or the dryer. It's very comfortable. We love them. We hope you guys love them too. They say Laura Farms right here. Just a little close up of the detail. They're overall just really great quality shirts. Um, if you don't want to buy them, you don't have to, but if you would like to, they're available for you. Some of you might be familiar with the brand that we're working with, Bunker Branding. They are great friends of ours now. We really appreciate all the work they've been doing and have just been a great company to work with. So. Happy to announce. And if you notice on the shirts, you see this? Okay. Does that look, look familiar? Look, it's our farmstead. It's our farm. How cool that we have our farm on a shirt. It matches. Yeah. Ta -da. So just. I uh, think it's I think it's pretty pretty nifty. I really like them. I hope you guys like them as much as we do. And this is the first line of designs. And hopefully, I'm hoping that now that we have these, you guys can help give Grant and I some ideas for t-shirts that you would like to see. So please comment below anything you would like to see on the front or back of a t-shirt, any colors that you like, any particular styles, if you guys want more than just t-shirts, if you would like sweatshirts, hats, stickers, koozies, anything like that, I need your guys' input. So I hope you guys like it. Okay, now on to the video. Good morning, everybody. So as you can see, we have some post-emergent spraying going on, but the poor guy I got here and couldn't make it very far because the pivot is directly in his way. We didn't think he was gonna show up this early. So Grant and I came out to start the pivot and get it moving. And then this guy, that's not our sprayer. It's not our hired man in the sprayer. He's hired by us through the co-op. And so he'll just go spray another one of our fields while this pivot moves out of the way. What do we have going on here, Grant? Well, so this pivot is run by, we make our own power for this pivot with that little uh, gray round thing over there. Okay. So generator. And so to get the pivot to move, we have to run the motor. But right now, since the drive shaft is hooked up to this thing, it's gonna pump water when we turn this thing on. And we don't wanna pump water right before we spray it. So we gotta unhook this so we can move the pivot. Gotcha. While he's doing that, let's take a little look at the corn we have because it has grown considerably since I've last shown it to you. For a little bit of size reference, here's my hand. Count the collars on it. Let's count on this one. So the collars are these little parts right here. So one, two, three, four, five. 
It's V5. We got the corn leaves are just like all tightly wrapped up. And they'll just keep growing out of the top there. Beautiful. As the pivot moves across the field, it does run over a very, very small portion of our crops and leave a little track, as you can see right here. But the cost of the plants' lives that are sacrificed in the wake of this pivot are greatly outweighed by the benefit that this irrigation provides this corn. reality this this space right here is a very very small price to pay for all the pivot goes all the way down over there field goes all the way out to that road all the way back to that corner stretches all the way to i-80 and goes all the way to those trees these plants are very grateful for the water Check this out, you guys. So I know it looks a little redneck. Um, that's because it is. But this pivot here is what we constructed using the remains of that pivot that we took down and moved way back in like February, if you remember that. It's almost up and running, which is crazy. Hello. Hello. Oh. Oh. Sorry, I get your chair ready for you. Thank you. I hear you have kind of a funny um, story to tell the audience. What? It has to do with this tractor and this particular implement we have hooked up behind oh. us. <laughs> yeah, we'll, uh, we'll clip in a shot of uh, a Snapchat. Sacrificing their lives for the greater good of all, all these around us. So a viewer question is, why not just drive over the crop? Why, why to go to all this work and make an actual road? Because uh, the, if there's no corn here to start with, the roads are easier to maintain and they dry out quicker. So if there was a bunch of crop left, it would stay wet for a long time. And then when we try to drive a pickup out here, the pickup would get stuck and then we'd make big ruts, and it would just be an overall bad time. We're going all the way out to that pivot there. Here is the setup that powers this particular pivot. And back over it we go.
there is uh, clearly still some issues that need to be addressed with our pipe, but we're working on it. And wouldn't you believe it, I am starting to feel sprinkles of rain. Of course. You know what? If we have to lay out pipe and turn on every pivot for it to start raining, so be it. I'll take it. We just need rain so bad. Our next project for the day, like I said, since this pivot is new, it's used... <laughs> this pivot has actually been around since about the 70s. It's made all from uh, recycled parts. We put this all together using pieces of other older pivots that we were taking down. Anyways, since it's new to this location, we need to put a stop up. Without a stop, it would hit that power line, it would go into the ditch, it would run over this pipe. And so we are using the skid steer, which is a Bobcat T595, and then a auger attachment. I believe it's a nine inch auger that we're using. We're going to drill some holes down and then we have some wood that we're going to be building with and then also some concrete to set the posts. And then when the pivot is running, do you see those little arms dangling down? This arm right here and this arm right here, when pushed against something, will shut the pivot off. That'll work. This tree is a little windblown, a little bent. He's weak. Come check this out. Can you zip ties? No. Like this zip tie? Like this little guy ain't cheap. You can save him for another job. Would you look at that? Look at that. I didn't say it was easy, but it was worth it. So some yard updates to give you guys. A lot has happened. We got trees planted. So this little guy is new. That one's been there. This one's new. We are of the makings of a tree line down there. And then there's trees all along the back of the house as well. So that is super exciting. And I don't know if you see, but there's hundreds and hundreds of little flags spread out. All of the neon green ones, those mark where underground sprinkler heads are. Now, we don't have any nice grass planted yet. We're still doing some work on widening out the drive, but that is soon to come. Super, super exciting. Perfect. Something else I get to update you guys on for my birthday, Grant gave me this garden. It's mobile, so it's on a pallet, so we can move it around to wherever we like. We have some onions, we have some peppers, we have some tomatoes, and then we have some onions, so I'm hoping to make some good salsa out of this thing. Okay, not looking too but hot. this little guy's not looking so hot. Oh, man. Not so great. Wire him up. He's making a little tomato, but we're gonna try to straighten him up a little bit. Wind 
over here is just bad. There we go. Things are really coming along. I can't wait until all of this is nice green grass. You guys love seeing the sky out here. Dark clouds are rolling in and I know I'm wearing a dress. I'm going to a rehearsal dinner right now. All my friends are getting married this summer. Um, but I think it's going to start raining. So I'm gonna put the skid steer away in the shop, in the dress, and then we'll call it a day. I know my tag is still on the dress. I'm waiting for Grant to come home and cut it off for me. up I'm feeling the first couple of sprinkles I'll get Grant home hopefully you can see the work that he did on either side of the drive to widen it out and we will head out for this evening thank you for watching today's video and we'll see you in the next one bye